Good morning. Um, I'm an absolute mess. It's pretty, it's pretty big. I'm sure it will come up in another video. There's a reason I'm a mess. It's literally the day after I got back from Paris, uh, from Paris. Sorry to be a knob. It's the day after. I'm home now. I can rest. Ish. I'm gonna go. I'm working tonight. I'm gonna work tonight. I haven't worked for the last four days, which has been lovely. Not having two emails or Slack or stuff. But I miss it. I, I love. I like working. Been having a hard time seeing. It's the reason why I was always kind of wearing glasses in my videos, and it's the reason why. My eyes, oh Jesus Christ, my eyes look bad. Um, and the reason why I'm squinting basically all the time in all the videos, if you have seen them, um, I, I have a condition with my eyes, which I found out this morning. I just, it's just really bad. And I'm not gonna go into the details. That's, that explains why I've been looking strange recently or I've been wearing these bad boys. It's not a cause of, I think I look cool, even though I do look really, really cool in them because it hurts when I don't wear them, which is worrying. How the cookie crumbles, how the boat floats, how the frog leaps, how the plant grows, how the film rolls. I quite like that one. I've lost a plant. And I thought I'd do a haul. A hauls are, hauls are fun. I'm not going to lie. I've watched... Jesus Christ. My head just got loose. Jesus. Hauls are fun. Shut up. Um, this is not my first rodeo. You know, I've done hauls before. This is... But yeah, I'm going to show you the shit I got in Paris. And you're going to watch it. You don't have to, you can click off the video. But I'm gonna show you what I got because it's nothing special, like it really is. Paris is great, Paris is fun, I love Paris, Paris is amazing. And a lot of people give it a bad stick, I don't know where that stick comes from, because I thought it was cool. It's kind of my type of my type of city. I'm very happy, I wanted to, to get a movie, because obviously France is the birthplace of film. I love film, it's my thing. And I wanted to find Lame, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I went to a bunch of DVD shops. Um, south of the Alpha Tower is where we went for the first day. Lots of really cool shops, but old bookshops, old DVD stores. Uh, I wanted to get movies or a poster or a book or you know whatever. The only problem is I don't read French, so a book would be pretty useless to me. You know, I'm depriving a French person from probably a very good book. Uh, I wanted to find some cool French films, and I got um, Robot and Frank because it's a very good film. So I've heard. Um, it's lots of good reviews. Nice French film. I wanted to get from France. Kind of keeping on to the movie theme. Um, this is a really cool book I found, because obviously film festival culture is very big out in France and a lot of people go to France for film festivals, so I got this book from a lovely store I found. Um, so it's a film festival review book, um, and inside you can kind of put, mainly probably for kids, but I thought it was cool, uh, what film festivals you've been to and ranking them, and then writing down what films you saw. I haven't seen anything like it obviously in the UK, and judging that I'm going to a few more film festivals this year and next year, Hopefully in the future as well. I thought I'd get it because I thought it was fun. And to fill out that book, I got a pen. This is a baguette pen. It's a it's a pen that's a baguette. Uh, hopefully you, you understand how amazing this is that I do. I just get so much joy out of this. This is my film festival baguette pen. For two euros as well. I thought that was pretty good. I had to fall for it. It's a beret. I, I, wanted, I, I, I wanted a beret. Beret. I needed one. I need. I. I'm sorry. I also got some stickers um, to go on Sully, which is my case for my for my camera case. I got these two stickers. This one here, which I thought was quite cool, um, and then this long Eiffel Tower one. To my surprise, it's very hard to find stickers. Apparently, people just don't use them anymore. So like, we were fortunate to find that they were probably about a euro each from the same shop I got the baguette pen from. Very good shop. Talking of film, I also got this to hold. A picture. Um, I took a, a bunch of pictures, and the best one, I got this Eiffel Tower stand uh, with a little clippy thing. I think that's it for Paris. I guess let's let's move on to what I got from Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris. The first thing I bought was um, a bag, and I needed basically the problem was I forgot my foldable backpack at home usually, but I got another one, and this is it. I got this is the first day in Disneyland. I was looking for one all the time in Paris, but I just couldn't find one. The thing was they were very very expensive, like we're talking like 15, 20 euros. This one from Disneyland Paris, eight euros. That's that's pretty good. It's the same. It's, it looks like this. It hasn't got fancy zips on the front or like bottle hold, holders on the side. Very basic, but that's kind of what I wanted. Mickey Mouse cartoons over it, which I love. It was really cool design. So when I go out again in a few days to uh, to Cornwall uh, with my girlfriend, 
Crazy, right? I get to bring this bad boy along with me. These are free toy trees you get from the hotel. How... How cute is this? Right, little Mickey ears on top, and they, they open up like that. Amazing. Another bag, I got another bag. Uh, this was the other bag I got. I thought it was pretty cool. It's also like, they kind of glow in the dark as well, which definitely made for kids. Of course, it's a bag. Um, uh, 10 euros for this. Um, I don't know, I like lanyards. I kind of collect them in a way. Um, and this is a Donald Duck one. I also got two t-shirts. One of them's in the wash, but this was the one I got. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Look at your style. Oh. This is the design. Um, it has Mickey and like a world design uh, in blue. Really cool design. It kind of bringing back that retro design. Um, kind of t-shirts are like a bit oversized. This is actually a gift from my parents. Uh, very nice of them. And we fell into the trap of merchandising because we, uh, we got one. We got a spider. Um, this is the smallest spider they do. They do uh, a big one. Uh, which you can control via remote controls, but like a hex bug, you know, big hex bugs, big money item. They were 70 euros, very expensive. Obviously, you didn't get one. It's 70 euros. Um, the gift shop at the end, a lot of people, pretty much everyone in the queue had a big spider um, going out of the shop. Uh, his name's Samuel. Uh, he kind of walks around randomly, again, a bit like a hex bug. I liked it. I thought he was cute. It was very nice of them. Very nice to be treated on, on the holiday, as if the holiday wasn't enough. They, they got me this. So this was very nice. Um, He's going to be sitting on my side and being my best friend. And with that being said, um, thank you for watching and goodbye.